What's going on, Shroot Stack Squad? Today is Thursday, April 15th, 2021, and this video is for entertainment purposes only. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the market and how bad um, my account is hurting and how bad your account probably is hurting and the overall way to play these sort of situations, all right? Uh, in this video, guys, I really want to explain the emphasis on being strong being strong and strong-willed during these hard times you know if you're new to this channel guys this is shrewd stocks i'm showing you my journey to one million dollars green days red days everything in between i put my money where my mouth is you don't find this anywhere else on youtube and all i ask in return guys is you hit that like and subscribe button now let me get into this all right so guys uh yeah let me everything i've been telling you in these videos the last few weeks last few months really uh, when I said, you know, we're heading down for a little bit of red days, it may last a couple months, may last a little while. This is what it, this is what it takes, you know. I mean, look, I'm gonna just show this to make everyone feel a little bit better. In one month, I lost forty six thousand dollars so far, and counting, all right, and counting. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna go more than this, you know. Uh, probably by the time I finish this video, it may hit fifty thousand. I lost in a month. <laughs> Let's hope not, but you know, this is how much money I used to make. This is more money than I used to make in a year uh, that I just lost in one month, you know, and uh, this is what I want to explain to you. Look, look at the portfolio. I made no changes so far. Everything is sitting like this. Uh, one thing to know, guys, MP did break a very strong support level for it. And I think the next one is going to be maybe around 29. So we might end up testing that level. So just be a little bit cautious if you're in MP right now. Uh, you may end up seeing a little bit more uh, dip go on with this thing. Sorry, um, skills as well. I mean, this thing is taking a big hit right now. I do think we may see this thing bottom out around $14 and then they can potentially have a retracement from there and go back up. But, you know, in this condition right now, it's, it's really volatile. And quite honestly, guys, a lot of the SPAC plays, the SPAC plays specifically are, um, pretty risky you know they are definitely in the more risky sense like hol look at this thing it's retesting the ten dollar levels uh even some of these other specs you know i know what they always say ten dollars is the floor they're go some of these are going below uh ten dollars you know and they're not uh <laughs> and they're specs you know so it's not that's why i always say it, just because ten dollars is where they generally stick at as the floor that's not like a hard and fast rule that they have to go to ten dollars no, no no they can go to whatever they want so you got to be a little bit cautious with it as i mean look at this every single play in my portfolio today is red um just as a side note look bngo it's uh below six dollars it's uh, that's to me if i had money and i wanted to go into one of these plays yeah bngo at this time frame i think will be okay if you want to hold it for a year or more uh pretty good play in my opinion but like i said i didn't enjoy the prices before back when it was at seven eight dollars and so but look i don't have any buying power and this is really what i what i wanted to share with you whenever you have these conditions guys you got to be convicted in your place um when i say convicted in your place you got to be convicted in yourself and the research and the plays that you have chosen okay you have to be convicted that when you decided to put money in this market, you made the right moves, you were doing the right research, and you and you trust yourself. Okay, ultimately that's what I mean. So when you decided to put money in Neo, you looked into the company, you researched it a bit, whatever it is, and not, as long as none of that has changed, you should not be panicking okay you should not be panicking and i know it's hard i remember when i first started investing um guys my first investment was tesla and that stock <laughs> i invested it i still remember it to this day it was like i think 120 130 dollars I, I put into it uh i mean that's the price what the stock was at at the time within like a next few couple weeks months it was at like 70 80 dollars i'm like oh my god what the heck just happened i love think of it i almost lost half of my account in just a matter of a month my first time investing you know i mean like this is pretty sad to see 30 percent like 28 percent drop in a month but you know it's been much worse in the past guys um so the other part that i wanted to say is when you're building out this stock portfolio what have i been preaching in all my videos guys you got to think of your portfolio as a cake okay as a cake and i'm going to say this in all my videos because this point needs to be hammered home 
you have a foundation layer, you have a middle layer, and then you got a frosting layer. Foundation, middle, and frosting, okay? And the reason why I always say this thing is because that foundation layer should be roughly 50%, maybe 60%, like 40 to 60% of all your money should be tied up in a foundation layer, okay? Think of when you're building a cake. That's the thing that holds the whole thing together. And my opinion, four to five stocks, don't go too crazy, just four to five stocks that you're truly convicted in, you know, you use, they're, they're stocks that you will hold on to for 10 years and you will not bat an eye about it. Okay, so for me, when I, I want to explain that this portfolio is not one to mimic in the in the same sense. Yes, Neo, STPK, Palantir, MP, these are great companies. I believe in them and everything like that. But if when I was starting, guys, I I was using an iPhone. I was using um, what what was it? Microsoft computer. I was having a lot of these products, and I invested in those companies to begin with, and Tesla as well. Not that I owned a Tesla. You see, it's I, I want to be cautious in what I say. It doesn't mean just invest in a company that you use, but it's like. It's a company that you've done enough research on and, you know, and you've done a lot of DD and you're more convicted of that than anything else. And for me, that was Tesla at the time. Um, so you kind of have to play it like that. In that foundation layer, like I'm saying, 40 to 60 percent, and that is the thing that will carry you through some of these harder times. OK, this is not the time to be putting a foundation layer into like Sidious. All right. I can make the most bullish thing on Sidious that I could possibly do. Tell you how great its FDA approval is, how great this thing is, how great whatever is. Guys, this is a penny stock. This is not a foundational stock. OK, penny stocks do not belong in your foundational layer. All right. That medium term layer. The one above it, that's one where you also pick maybe short, like two year holds, okay? And that one again, four to five stocks, and you keep, I'd say 30%, depending on how you, how aggressive you want to be, things like that. Not too crazy, 30% of your money in that. And the frosting layer gets the 20%, and those are just quicker term plays, all right? For me, that's uh, Sidious that I'm using, and uh, United Airlines as well, okay? Um, you know, I know it's hard to see this account go red. I mean, you can still see I'm down now for the three month mark. You know, I used to be up a lot. Think of it, guys. At one point, I was sitting at 180. This is at 115. It's it's hard to see. Uh, even the one year, I'm I'm still up for the one year, but you know, I'm prepared to see this thing go down. Okay, if you hold it long enough, is what I'm trying to explain. This is the key I want to explain, guys. If you hold these things long enough, you can see the other light at the end of the tunnel. Okay you will see the green at the end of the tunnel, not the light, you'll see the green, okay? Sometimes it just takes having to go through this this tough time. Now, if you can't stomach this, all right, if you cannot, like if you're panicking, and I know there's people like that, uh, it's giving you anxiety, it's stress, that all of this stuff. I've been telling you in so many videos, guys, in these times, the com the money, the places where the money is going to go first is Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Disney, Tesla. These companies, even Tesla is a little bit more volatile than others, but that's more likely to get money before Neo. Let's just say that, um, you know, guys, at times like this, these are the companies that are going to get the money first. Like you can just see this in the last one month. If you just put all your money in Amazon, you would be up versus did you see what my portfolio was at in the last one month? Minus 30. If I just put all of this in Amazon, I would be green. But you see, I can't think like, I can't think in one month terms. Do you follow what I'm saying? If you just want to, if your only goal is to invest for one month, don't, don't follow my channel. This is not going to help you. This is not, I, I can't be the right person for you to follow if you just want to invest for a month. Okay. I'm looking at one year. I'm looking at all time. I'm looking at more than just, this is a long-term process, guys. This is a, this is a channel devoted to building wealth. Okay. Wealth does not come in one month. All right. The people who get wealth in one month, they're lottery winners. They're, they're very smart. I don't want to say smart. They're very lucky. Quite honestly, it's luck. Uh, a lot of it does come down to luck because think of it. If you can make a lot of money in one month, why can't you repeat it in all the other months? You see, if you could repeatedly make a lot of money month after month, that's no longer luck. It's no longer luck. So part of my strategy is this guys, <laughs> You kind of have to weather the storm and if you can't handle it all right uh you gotta go into these other plays which are safer right now okay which can keep you strong now this is the issue that's going to happen i can already tell you if you decide to cash out of your account 
okay and because i'm telling you this stuff guys because i've been there all right i want you to understand i'm not just speaking from this from a book there's no financial book you're gonna read right now that's gonna tell you how to handle this thing okay how to go through the emotions and what to do everything i'm teaching you look i've read all the books everything i'm teaching is from real life experience if you are making a mistake right now if you've made your foundational play in like something stupid Trust me, I've been there and I've done that. And I've, this is why I'm living to teach this. That's why this channel has been made, guys. Um, if you can't handle these sort of volatility and your accounts bleeding and you don't know what to do, yeah, it's just Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft. Yeah, put your money in there and you'll make good gains. You'll make steady amounts. You, your portfolio will never drop like significant, like, like crazy levels like this volatility and you'll be fine. All right. The thing is, the thing is that I can already tell you what's going to happen. When you start seeing Palantir, SDPK, NEO, MP, Skill, when you see all these companies starting to run up, you know what you're going to do? You're going to try to cash out of Apple. You're going to try to cash out of Amazon. And you're going to try to time it and buy into these other stocks. And you're going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because you can't handle seeing, you can't handle seeing red. All right. That's plain and simple. You cannot handle seeing red. If that's your situation, guys, I'm telling you, you have to, This it takes a certain kind of skill in order to do well in the stock market. Last year, there's a reason why so many people came onto YouTube and decided to make all these channels and, you know, so-called kill it in the stock market game as last year was the bull market of the year. You know what I'm saying? It was one of the biggest bull markets we've had. And quite honestly, many people could have made... Um, could have made themselves seem very smart by picking out some plays. You know, I could have just told any, think of it. You don't even need to know stocks too well to make a lot of money last year. You could have just figured a company that you liked, Apple. Great. You just made 190% gains in one year. What's another company you like? Starbucks. I think I had that somewhere here. But I mean, whatever you get, you get the idea I'm trying to say, right? If you, you could have just picked, let's just say Microsoft. Great, 50% gains. Guys, it's very easy to make yourself seem very smart in a bull market. The times the reason, the reason, times when it's red like this and when you're going to see your account go down, 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 these are the, these are the channels you want to follow. You follow what I'm saying? The people who are actually going to show you, hey, I'm bleeding out here with you and this is what I'm doing, all right? The, I'm, I'm, that's why I wanted to show you guys this. I, if you want to feel a little bit better, like I'm saying, I just lost $46,000 in one month. Okay, so I hope that can give you some, uh, you know, calmness because look, I haven't changed anything here. The only thing I have to say, the one thing that I have to say that I am like contemplating the skills, uh, this isn't a, I, nothing has changed for me in, it term, in terms of its conviction and things like that. But you see, skills is a SPAC, uh, HOL is a SPAC. My, my fear right now is a lot of my plays are in SPACs and SPAC plays are, uh, you know, um, they're really risky right now, quite honestly. SPAC plays, like I'm saying, they're retesting that $10 mark. They may be going even lower. And there's no real end in sight for that when it may switch up and change, you know? So for me, the SPAC plays are the ones which I'm considering maybe it will be worth, um, I don't know, going to a safer play, like let's say Apple or Microsoft in this account. You know what I'm saying? Because um, those are the ones which are definitely hurting. Uh, <laughs> Man, I'm taking a look at this. Let's see uh, percent change here. Let's see which ones are the biggest losers of the day. Um, Iro, oh, oh man, seven point seven six percent loss. Man, wow, just in one week, eighteen percent decrease. Man, oh, it's hurting. You see, if I had buying power right now, what I would be doing, I'd just be averaging down on some of these plays. Uh, that's my suggestion to you. If you have money to buy and put into your buying power, average down if you made the right selections and you're in the right place. If not, just close your app, guys. The, my, my suggestion, just close your app. Don't take a look. You can look back in a couple months or whatever it works for you, maybe another day. But if this is hard to look at, um, you know, you just kind of just need to play it out like that. I mean, look at this. Just from the time I was talking in this video, I'm down below fifteen thousand dollars in the in the value. Um, 
it, this is just what it takes guys it's up and down up and down all right and i'm going to be here with you to walk you through all the plays and all the good days and all the bad days it's easy to be here when the market's green it's hard to stay when when you're bleeding like this all right stay strong family i'm going to be here with you the whole way through all right with all that said stay happy stay healthy let's get wealthy take care